What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and today we are going over Greninja, Greninja Break deck, and I really do love this deck. It was my second favorite deck. The first one was Ho-Oh Manetric, and now it is Greninja, and it is a very interesting deck. Let's go over it, and let's see what it's about. Now, it's hard to say who our main attacker is, because there's so many different attackers in the deck, and we'll just go over them. Uh, first off, you want to play this Froakie because a bubble. Flip a queen of heads to your opponent's act Pokemon. It's now paralyzed. Paralyzation is such a strong like effect in the game. It makes it where your opponent can't attack you. They can't retreat. They can rush in or switch to get out of it. But if they don't have those cards, it makes it where your opponent cannot attack you the next turn. We do play four Frogadier. Now, Frogadier is MVP in this deck. It does have water duplicates. Search deck for up to three Frogadier to put them onto your bench, shuffle your deck afterwards. So you don't have to search for, you know, uh, you don't have to have Froakies on your bench. You can just automatically put Frogadiers down onto your bench, which is amazing. And I really, really do like this card a lot. If you haven't tested out Greninja, for sure this is the Frogadier you are playing. Now we do play 2-2 Greninja split as of right now. This Greninja has 130 HP. Has the ability Water Shuriken. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand. If you do, put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon anywhere. It could be on the bench as well with Greninja. It doesn't have to be in the active spot. Now, Mist Slash does 50, and it's not affected by any effects on your opponent's Pokemon. The Weakness, Resistance, or any other effects. So it does 50 straight up. Now, the other Greninja, which, you know, some people might be like, why are you playing this Greninja? It seems weird that you're playing... The one that does the 30 with the discard of water, but you're playing this one as well. Well, this one has free retreat, which is something to note. Free retreat is amazing in this deck. And it has the attack shadow stitching, which is really, like, broke. 40 damage until the end of your opponent's next turn. Each Pokemon your opponent has a blade, and his or her hand has no ability. So it's basically like you played a Hex Maniac on him, which is great. Now, it also has Moonlight Slash. Now, Moonlight Slash only needs one energy, and it does 60. And you may return a water energy from this Pokemon to, hand, to your hand. If you do, you do 20 more damage. So it does 80. And with the Mustang, you can do 100, which might not seem like much, but I'll show you how in a second that's a lot of damage. Um, so 100 damage, and you get to return that water energy into your hand, which is great. Now, you do play a Greninja Break, which is, you know, it's just like the other um, Greninja that we just saw with the Water Shuriken. But this one's Giant Water Shuriken. What's during your turn before you attack if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon? So it has to be your active to act activate this ability. Um, you may discard a Water Energy card from your hand. And if you do, you put t 6 damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, so 6 from this guy. 3 from this Water Shuriken, which is 90. And then combined with this Greninja with the Moonlight Slash for 100, you're doing 190 damage a turn with just, you know, this Greninja line. Now, it is very clunky, but, you know, you don't have to do this. You can just be using Giant Water Shuriken. You can use Water Shuriken. Do 60-30, 60-30, just having some fun. And the cool thing with this Greninja, like I said, it does have free retreat. So, you can retreat, um, like, maybe this Greninja. So, the other Greninja have two giant two breaks going on. So, you can at least do 150 damage a turn with the Greninja and the Greninja breaks. Because 6 plus 6 is 120. Or 6 plus 6 is 12, then plus another 3 is 150, which 150 damage a turn just by discarding water energies is amazing. Um, so that's your whole Greninja line. Hopefully you understand it. It's pretty, it seems like it's complicated, but I promise it's easy to understand. Now you do play two Shaman for the early game to set up. You have 6 cards in your hand. Now you don't want to bench too many Shamans, and the reason why is your whole deck is 9EX. Um, that means your opponent has to knock out a lot of Pokemon to win the game, and if you put down multiple Shamans, well... They can knock out a Shaman, take two prize cards, knock out another Shaman, take two prize cards, going down to two, uh, which is very bad. So you want to at least have a lot of these Pokemon down. Now, we do play a 2-2 Octillery as well. So like I said, early game, you want to use Shaman, and then late game, you want to use Abyssal Hand. You draw, you have five cards in your hand, and if you have two of these, you get Abyssal Hand twice a turn, which is amazing. Now, as 21 Pokemon, it is a lot, but it is very doable. You're playing 4443 Greninja Breakline. It is really, really thick, but you do need it. All right, so that's all the Pokemon in your deck. Now, one Pokemon I did have in here, and I'll show it just real quick. I know some people are going to ask me, is this Manaphy EX? It makes it where any of your water Pokemon that has any water energy attached to it 
has no retreat cost. And the reason why I had it in the deck was because of Octillery. If you look, Octillery has a two retreat cost. Now, you could put Flow Stones, um, but usually, if they license up your Octillery, you can just double attach two water energies. And if they do license up your Octillery, you can still use Greninja's Water Shuriken uh, to still attack people, which is great. So I wasn't really worried about that anymore. Um, and also, the uh, the Manaphy makes it where this Greninja has free retreat, but only has one energy retreat cost. So I'm not really worried about that as well. All right, so that's all the Pokemon in the deck. And let's keep on going. Uh, one Battle Compressor, search deck for three cards. Uh, shelf, search deck for three cards and discard them. Shelf your deck afterwards. Now, this is going to be used to discard supporter cards. You could use to discard water energies, but you're going to mostly use it for supporter cards. You're going to discard an Ace Trainer, a Fishman, and a Wally, maybe a Birch, a Slice, and it depends on the situation. You play four Dive Balls, search deck for water Pokemon or Villain, and put it to your hand. And if you look, um, you play 19 water Pokemon. So yeah, Dive Ball is a little bit good. One energy retrieval, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. It's a great card to have. Um, get those water energies from your discard pile back into your hand. One professor letter just to get your water energies out of your deck. One sacred dash, shuffle five Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Now, some people say, you know, you should play Super Rod. Well, this time you really don't want to. If you play Super Rod, you can't get back that many frogs. And usually, when you're sacred dash, you're getting like Maybe one to two whole complete frog lines. So you need Sacred Ash really, really bad. Four train as well for consistency, just to hit the cards you need. Uh, two Ultra Ball. This can still get you your frogs and your Shaman. I was, you know, two Ultra Ball. I was debating on three, three, but two, four seems fine right now. Four VS Seeker to reuse supporter cards. One Ace Trainer, which is really, really good in this deck. Each player shuffle his or her deck into, into the deck. Your opponent, you draw six and your opponent draws three. Now, this can only be activated if your opponent has less prize cards than you, or if they have taken more prize cards. So if your opponent has two prize cards and we have three, we can Ace Trainer down to three cards. And then when that happens, you can use Greninja's Shadow Stitching, making it where they can't use, you know, Shaman, they can't use any Pokemon that lets you draw cards. And that, you know, that's a really cool combo with Ace Trainer. One Fisherman to get back four energy cards. And when you do this, you're basically saying, all right, I'm going to use Water Shuriken. I'm going to use Giant Water Shuriken. I'm going to use Giant Water Shuriken. And I have an attachment for the turn with the Fisherman, which is incredible. One Light Center Dragon Pokemon off the bench. Two Birch, four Sycamore. And I would play two Wally. Now, Wally says search deck for, for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon. And school to Pokemon EX and put it into that po onto that Pokemon. It counts as evolving. Shuffle your deck afterwards. You can use this card on your first turn or a turn that a Pokemon was put into play. So, if you're going second, what you want, like your optimal start is you want to start a Froakie. You want to somehow get a Wally, either by playing Battle Compressor, discard it, and then using VS Seeker. Or just mainly draw into it, and then you will get out of Frog and Deer. Now, this if you're going second. If you're going second, yeah, yeah. If you're going second, you want to do this, and then you can get a Frog and Deer, and then you can water duplicates for three Frog and Deer. Now, do not get me wrong. Some people might be saying, all right, since you want to go second, um, you want to go, you, you like, if you win the coin flip, you want to go second? No, you still always want to go first. It's just, you know, don't get confused. You always want to go first with this deck, especially since you have to set up cards. Now, it is cool if you do go second, you do have the Wally. And what you could do is you could evolve into Greninja and then Wally to Greninja break the same turn, which is amazing. And it is a cool combo that you can pull off. Two Muscle Man just do 100 damage with the uh, the Moonlight Slash. And maybe the other stuff, the 20 damage might matter. And a Water Energies. Now, another card that you could play as well, and I know some people are going to ask me questions about it. And um, if you haven't seen it, is this card right here, Max Potion. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon if you do discard all energy attached to the Pokemon, um, which is a very cool card. Uh, Greninja Break has 170 HP, so it's hard to knock out. I'll, I'll give you that, um, but I, I, don't, I couldn't find room for it. You're going to cut cards. You're going to start whiffing consistency problems. I did have, like, Rough Seas, Max Potion. If you remember, Greninja puts the energy back into your hand with the Water Energy, so then you get Max Potion. I do have to discard the Water Energy. I, I had it, but like I said, I had consistency problems. I can't remember what I cut. And then you can also play another card as well. I'll show you just one more card. It's this Rough Seas. Heal 30 damage from all your water and lightning Pokemon. But then your opponent can start using it. And then it becomes a problem again about consistency. This is a really, really consistent deck. It is really 
clunky, so you need to have like a balance of clunky and, and consistency. And I think this is a really, really good combo. Now you're gonna see two games with this deck, and I know some people will be saying, you know, how do you knock out Mega Pokemon? Well, today I'll show you how you handle the Mega decks. You know, um, we'll see how it goes and what happens in these games. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this Greninja breakdown. I did have a lot of fun playing this deck, and you'll probably if you see me online, you might see me play this deck just for fun, just to water share again a giant water share again. But hopefully you enjoyed this deck. Thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. All right, we're playing against Corey Smith playing a Psychic Dragon Water deck, and let's see what happens with Greninja. Hopefully we can get a good start, and we won the coin flip. There we go. That's what I like to see. Yes, we like to go first. Now, if we do get a turn one Frogadier, we cannot attack, but we do at least get a chance to get two out. Oh, man, uh, not two out, but we can at least, like, manly evolve into one if need be. Um, my opponent does have a Pokemon, and they will know we're playing a Frogadier or Greninja deck. But let's see what happens. My opponent is selecting their Pokemon. They get two down. Uh, they, we, they see we have no basic Pokemon, and let's see what happens. Okay, Mulligan number two. All right, all right, all right. Mulligan number three. Or try number three, not Mulligan number three. And it is on Mulligan number three. All right, we'll try again. Let's see what happens. Oh, man, where is our Pokemon at? Come on, Pokemon. Come on down, buddies. We need some of y'all. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, so we have a good turn. We get a Froakie. We'll press done. My opponent will get three off this um, for sure. But at least they can't attack. Oh, wait, no, we're going first. So that's good. That's good. Uh, we need to get down some more Froakies, and we do have a Frogadier. Um, the question is, do we get down a Frogadier? Like, do we put multiple Froakies down or multiple uh, Remoraids down? So there's a Gengar and a Mewtwo. All right, so we're going to Battle Compressor, and with this Compressor, we will discard. Let's discard a Birch. We will discard a... Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? A Wale. And we will discard a Fisherman, that seems like three good cards to discard. We will then train as well. Looking for a VS Seeker for a Birch. Alright, Dive Ball could work. Yeah, we might have to Dive Ball the Sacred Ash to get the stuff back into our deck. With the Dive Ball, we can grab a Rim Raid for the next turn. There's a Rim Raid coming on down. Alright, we'll put him down. And I guess we'll just Sycamore discard our hand, draw seven new cards. I'm not really worried about Gengar knocking us out. Next turn, only puts three damage counters onto one Pokemon. We'll get a Trainer's Mail. Let's see what can we get off the Trainer's Mail. We we'll grab a Muscle Band. We'll put that in our hand. We could grab a Sacred Ash. Hmm. Yeah, let's grab a Sacred Ash. That seems like a, that might be a little bit more efficient. Uh, we'll put a Water Energy to the active, and we will just end our turn. Now, next turn we do have a Frogadier. We do have a Sacred Ash. I decided to keep the Sacred Ash in our hand just in case he does knock us out sometime, somehow. I don't think he can though. Um, but next turn we can. Uh, Sacred Ash getting back in three three guys. They see uh, just the first attack doing 30 damage to this guy. Oh, he's he targeted a Rim Raid. All right, so on to our turn. We get a Dive Ball, and this will get us an Octillery. Come on now, Mr. Octillery. All right, so that way he can't knock us out next turn. But Dark Corridor can still knock out this Froakie. It only has 70 HP, so that is something we have to watch out for. We'll put down the Octillery, put a Frogadier on the active, and yeah, we're just going to Sacred Ash. Shuffling these three guys in. That seems great. And we're going to VS Seeker for a Birch. And I'm looking for... Um, let's see. We could Octillery for one. Well, let's Birch. If we flip Talos, we can then use uh, Octillery. So let's see what we get. Uh, Talos only getting three. We'll shame it. Uh, drawing some more. And let's see what can we get off the Shea Bay. Alright, some Water Energy for next turn. And we'll just uh, Water Duplicates. Oh man, we already we have three, we have two frogadiers in our hand. I just realized this. All right, so put down one frogadier. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. We have multiple frogadiers in our hand. I just realized this. So we need to draw into a birch. That's what we need um, because we don't want a sycamore discarding all this stuff away. Man, that oh man, that kind of stinks. But let's see what happens. So we see a tier now. My opponent will draw three cards. All right. We see a Latios coming down with the fast rate and the light pulse attack. Does my opponent have a DC? There's a Dimension Valley. There's a, psych a Deep Water Energy going down to it. He can use Dark Order. Alrighty. Going to knock us out with the Poison. But who will he send up? He's going to send a Mewtwo. Alright. So the Frogadier will go down. Man, we cannot Sycamore. If we Sycamore, we will cry. Because we have nothing left. I will put up Shaman. 
We get double attached water energies to it. So let's see, what do we top deck? A rim raid. So put down the rim raid, put a water energy, and we will end our turn. Own our opponent's turn. All right. Do they have a float stone? That's the question. Take a float stone to the Gengar and then use Dark Order. Okay, there's a mystery energy. So that will give Mewtwo free retreat. Mystery energy lets you where you have two, two less retreat costs. There's a Hoopa coming down. Gonna search for three EX Pokemon with Scoundering, and let's see what will our opponent get out. I mean, we're in trouble. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're, we are in trouble right now. Um, like the, 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 the draw into double, like triple, double Frogadier was the worst thing that could happen. Like, man, that's like literally the worst. So there's a Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo Y, Mega Mewtwo Y coming down. He could just Mega Ball this turn if he wanted to. Huh. Let's see what our opponent decides to do. There's a Mewtwo coming down. Okay, there's a Mega Mewtwo Y, so yeah, he's just going to mainly evolve in his turn. So into our turn, let's see, what do we top deck? A Greninja. Oh, man, we don't need to put the Greninja down. Put Octillery down. Put a Water Energy active, and we'll Abyssal Hand draw in one card. We need a VS Seeker for a Birch. Mm. All right, we're just going to... Oh, man. I don't even know. We're going to scary turn for 30. Okay, we'll send up the Hurt Octillery. All right, and let's see if he gets an energy he can knock us out and that's fine um, because they don't promote the frog of deer We'll put a water energy on it and maybe we can get out some Um, we maybe get the topic to birch like that's all we're hoping for is how they birch Ah, uh, we're in a bad situation. Why don't you go to the active sucking infinity will knock us out. It will do 60 It'll do 70 damage actually, but does he have a life center? Nope, psychic infinity will do 70 damage all right, how do we deal with this Mega Mewtwo Y? That's my question. First off, we need to top deck a Via Seeker. That's what we need right here. Get a Lysander. Well, we can Lysander bring up a Hoopa. It does have a two retreat cost. Uh, maybe we should have brought up the Latios. That might be a better play. We will put a Water Engine in the active. Shaman. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. We won't get anything. We can put down Greninja. Yeah, so let's put down Greninja. We need to start saving our Greninjas for sure. Um, and we will Shadow Stitching, make it where our opponent can't use any abilities. And maybe that can help us out some. We'll see what happens on to our opponent's turn. Now, we can next turn get down a Greninja Break and use the Water, uh, the Greninja Break, Giant Water Shuriken and put 60 on this Mega Mewtwo Y and start hurting from the bench. There we see a Psychic Energy going to the active. All right. There's another Mega Mewtwo Y coming down. All right, so we have to deal with these Mega Mewtwo Ys, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so we get a good Ninja Break. We will Giant Water Shuriken, putting Water Energy onto this Mega Mewtwo Y. So I'll bring it up to 90. All right, so we will, let's see, Shaman, drawing two. Yep, let's see, what can we get off the Shaman? We're looking for some more Froakies. All right, so Trainer's Mel, VS Seeker, Froakie is what I'm looking for. Well, I guess a Dive Ball can work. All right, so we'll Dive Ball, getting a Froakie out. Come on down, Mr. Froakie. All right, so put down Froakie. We will, um, let's just use Endless Slash, uh, putting the Water Energy back into our hand, so that way it's not doing as much damage. And the next one, we can knock out the Hoopa. With the water shuriken. No, not water shuriken. We can, let's see. What can we do next turn? We since up this guy. We can mega water shuriken and knock it out, which is great. There's, we see escape rope. I'm going to send the octillery. Yep, I know it's kind of bad that we're sending the octillery. It's going to get rid of our draw, but maybe we'll be okay. We don't have any more octillaries, but I think we can make it through. Here comes a mega Mewtwo. All right, but we can knock. Oh, Pokemon Center Lady. Okay, okay, all right, so let's see how much HP it has left. It has 180. Let's see, so we can do uh, Greninja's, we can do Greninja's Moonlight, uh, Moonlight Slash for 8, then 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and that's not a knockout. Oh, no. So instead of Greninja, let's see what happens onto our turn. We do get a Frokia. Hey, there we go. There we go. All right, so we get a Water Energy put on this guy. We will via Seeker. Grabbing a Birch. No, let's grab an Ace Trainer. We'll put our opponent down to uh, three, and we get six. That seems good. Yeah, well, Ace Trainer. Let's see. Oh, no, I forgot to use the Water Energy. 
Okay, let's see. So put down a Froakie. Do we knock him out of this turn or not? So put down Froakie. We will put a Muspin on the active. Let's see, it does uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then plus a 6. Nope, we'll still be short. Um, let's see. Let's Giant Water Shuriken. How many Water Energies are in our deck? That's the first question. Let's see. There's plenty of water, so we'll put both those in our hand. Next turn, we do have a Greninja as well. All right, so we're going to Giant Water Shuriken, discard of water, putting 60 onto the Hoopa. We'll knock out the Hoopa this turn for sure. All right, we'll go down to four prize cards. Hmm, can we make the comeback or not? So go down to four. There's a Froakie and an Energy Retrieval. All right, so we'll put down the Froakie. Wait, how many? Uh, no, I didn't mean to put that down. No, Pokemon, don't do that. <sighs> All right, and we will uh, Moonlight Slash for 100. E I think it's yeah, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we'll do 100. And that just makes it where he can't, like, do as much damage as he can. He can't do that much damage. Like, he can still... 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 is the max he can do. Unless he gets a DCE and heads, he gets... Okay, does he get the DC or not? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. That's still not a knockout. If I did the math correctly. Alright, so maybe we'll be okay. We'll see. Does he have a muscle band as well? Can we make the comeback of the century or not with Greninja? It has taken us a while to get ready to go. It seems like a horrible start. Maybe will help us out. We'll see. And let's see. What will our opponent do? Alright, so let's see. This Greninja can do 50, which doesn't knock it out, but we can 50 and use Water Shuriken for 30. Hmm. So there's a Psychic Infinity. This, this shouldn't knock us out. Yep, 130. Alright, on to our turn. Let's see what happens. We get a Water Energy. So we'll put down a Greninja. Um, we can just smack this guy. No, we have to use, use one Water Shuriken. So Water Shuriken for 3 onto this, um, this Mewtwo. Oh no! Okay, now maybe that's fine. I'm trying to be able to do. We'll put a water energy on this guy. We will giant water shuriken. Put thirty onto this Gengar. Now Gengar is the only guy he's got powered up, so we'll hit that for sixty. Then we will retreat to this Greninja, and we'll put a Muspin on it, and we will miss slash for sixty. That should knock it out. Yeah. Oh no, we already had. Oh, we could have. No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It had 80 HP left. I forgot it had 80 HP left. Okay, so under our opponent's turn, let's see what happened. We can do 90 damage to this, this Gengar next turn. The question is, can we get a Lysander to knock it out as well? Um, If we get a Lysander, we can knock out this po our opponent next turn. We see a, a DC go down to this Mewtwo, okay? Oh, if we get... Oh my goodness, we have the game next turn. Alright, so he's going to Night Attack us. It's not going to knock us out, but... Do we have enough energies to do this uh, attack or not? We'll see what happens. Are oh, you just going to do 30 to that guy? What? Okay. That's fine with me. We'll energy retrieval. Get two water energies. All right. Time to party. We will water shuriken. Water energy to the active. We will... Um... Let's see. Oh, we might not have enough energies. Depends on the birch, maybe. Let's see. We could do six more. Bring it up to 80. Oh, no. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So we'll retreat into this guy. We will giant water share. You can put a water energy and not hit this guy for 60. Bring it up to 120 or 150. Sorry. Put a water energy on the active and we can use Moonlight Slash doing 100 damage. There we go. All righty. So there's Greninja taking down the Mega Mewtwo Y Gengar deck. Now, it might seem like a hard matchup because they are playing Mega Pokemon. And that Mega Mewtwo got scared. We probably so many frogs. But we'll see one more game with the deck in a second since that one was kind of shaky. That turn when we had like d triple Frogadier or double Frogadier in our hand was so bad. But we still made a lot of life. We'll play one more game with the deck here in a second. And we'll see what happens with the Greninja Break deck. And let's see if we get off the mystery prize. Let's see. What do we get here? Give us something good. Uh, two tournament tickets. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. And we'll see what happens. All right. Round number two. We're playing against Ezreal. I'm playing a colors, metal, psychic deck. I'm not sure what this could be. But we'll find out here in a second. And hopefully we don't have that crazy. No, we lost the card flip. 
But maybe we can Wally turn t Wally turn one, get out the Frogadier, and start using the uh, the duplicate attack to get down multiple Frogadiers. All right, we don't have it yet, but we do have a battle compressor. If we can top deck a VS Seeker, we can pull it off. Um, all right, let's see what happens. So it is a Mega Rayquaza deck. Oh no! All right, so we just beat a Mega Mewtwo deck. Can we beat Mega Rayquaza? So a double Mulligan, which is great. We need all the Mulligan help so we can get. Let's see what happens this turn. All right, so they get something. Now, it's going to be a little challenging. We could, you know, Shadow Stitch Stitching could help us out some, making it where they have no abilities, and we can slow down Shamans that way. And also, they put down Shamans. We can use Water Shirk and knock those out. It's going to be a tough matchup. I'm not going to lie, but maybe we could pull it out. Let's see what happens. If we do top deck a VS Seeker, we'll be a-okay. So we'll draw two off the Mulligan. Trainer's Melon and Octillery. There we see Rayquaza. All right, so can we get it turn one or not? That's the big question. Hopefully we can. And luckily, it's going to be like last round. Our opponent's going to be taking knockouts on non-EX Pokemon. We are taking knockouts on EX Pokemon. We see a Birch. Come on, Birch. No, Birch. You're more supposed to help him. You're supposed to help us, not him. All right, so we see a Swablu coming down. And does he play Bronzong? That's the real question. Um, he plays Bronzong, he can reuse these Metal Energies pretty easily. But regardless, he's playing like Mega Turbos and or the Bronzongs. We'll see an Ultra Ball discarding an AZ and a Metal Energy. This will probably get out of Hoopa. I imagine we'll see a Hoopa coming all down, unless he prized them. I mean, if he does, if he didn't prize, if he did prize the Hoopas, he's just going to go for a Shaman and draw three cards. But if he's got the Hoopa, he can Hoopa, grabbing a Shaman. A Rayquaza and a Mega Rayquaza, that's like that's like your best turn one. Like it doesn't get anything like it doesn't get any better than that. Unless he plays Bronzong, then he needs some Bronzongs. But there's a Hoopa coming on down and he will scoundrel ring searching for three EX Pokemon. And like I said, it's probably gonna be Shaman, Rayquaza, and Mega Rayquaza. That's probably his best three. He wants to get on turn one. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm like 99% sure. Um yep. Oh, an Aegislash Rayquaza Shaman EX. Alrighty. So he does play Aegislash, but luckily we don't play any Pokemon that have any special energy, so we don't have to worry about that. Aegislash, Shaman coming down. Stealing going to draw three cards, set up Stealing in three, which is the same amount if he was just going to use the uh, the Ultra Ball for Shaman. There's a Mega Rayquaza, so he will end his turn, but next turn he can knock us out, but can we get a Wall A turn two, or turn one? Oh, we drew into a Frogadier, that's great. So a Compressor, and we'll discard a Wall A, a Birch. And a Fisherman, those are great cards to get into the discard pile turn one. And let's see, can we Trainer's Mel to hit this uh, this VS Seeker? Come on, Trainer's Mel! Okay, oh, we get a Wally as well. So we're just going to grab the Wally straight up. No need to grab the VS Seeker. We need it in the deck for later. We'll put a Water Energy to the active. We will Wally, grabbing out a Frogadier. How many are in the deck? Okay, cool. So then we get Frogadier for two. Putting that down. And we will water duplicates, getting up to two Frogadiers. We do have one in our hand, uh, but we can't put down Frogadier, then maybe retreat it next turn. We do have Greninja as well, which we might put down and start using Shadow Stitching. We'll see what happens. Alter our opponent's turn. What will they do? Uh, we do have an Ace Trainer. There's a DC going to the active. It requires a Spearly coming down. All right, so he's going to Ammo Break, knocking us out. All right, I wish... Uh, this Greninja had this. Uh, this Greninja had this. This Greninja has the free retreat. Yes, it does. All right, so set up the Frogadier. On to our turn. We get a Dive Ball, and with the Dive Ball, I'm actually just gonna grab a Remoraid and let it get knocked out this turn. Are uh, we really? Oh, we should no. We should have grabbed a uh, not a Remoraid. We should have grabbed a Froki. So put this guy down. Put down a Frogadier. Put down a Greninja. Go go Greninja. Put down another Greninja, and we'll Ace Trainer putting our opponent down to. Uh, three while we get six. And let's see, what can we get off these six? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the Rimraid. Put down the Froakie. Retreat into the Froakie. And we'll just pass. We'll let the Froakie get knocked out. We'll put an energy on the Greninja as well. End our turn. And we'll see what happens on our opponent's turn. Now next turn we can Ultra Ball get out of Greninja Break. We can VS Seeker for another Ace Trainer. Uh, maybe a Birch, but I think Ace Trainer will be better. And then maybe we can knock out this Mega Quasa next turn. If we get down double Greninja, we could do 120. And then with this guy, we could do 180 uh, damage with the Muscle Man 100 damage. And we can knock out Mega Quasa turn two. Let's see. Is that possible or not? We'll find out here in a second. Um, Got to see a bunch of cards being discarded. 
We see Andrew going on the Rayquaza. We'll see an Animal Break. Not going to sell. He'll go down to four prize cards. We'll send up the, uh, this Greninja. And because it has free retreat, I think it's the best option to send up for sure. So he's going to go down to four prize cards. Can we win the game or not? Hmm. He's going down to four. We'll send up this Froakie. We could grab a Rimmeraid instead of Greninja Break. Or a Shaman. Oh, no. So we're going to Shaman. Or do we put Shaman down? No, we're not going to put Shaman down. We're going to Ultra Ball discard these two. We will grab... Let's just grab Octillery. Yeah, let's go for it. We have two breaks in there. Maybe we can grab both this turn as well as the other Greninja. Uh, so put down Octillery. We will Abyssal Hand. Drawn up to five. Let's see what can we get off the five cards. Hopefully it's Greninja Break, Greninja Break, Water Energy. None of that stuff. Well, hmm. Let's see. I guess, you know, let's YOLO. Via Seeker for Birch. We have to go for Birch right now. Um, we could go for an Ace Trainer, but his hand of three wasn't that great. He didn't play a supporter card last turn. So let's Birch, and let's see what can we get off the Birch. Hopefully it's Greninja Break and some other stuff. Oh, Tails only get four. Okay, that's not good. Well, Trainer Spell, let's see if we can get a Dive Ball. All right, so we can get a Dive Ball. We can Muscle Band this guy. We can Dive Ball, getting another uh, Octillery out. Yep, and can we draw to both Greninja Breaks? If we do, I think we can knock out our opponent this turn. Um, yep, we'll put down Octillery. We will Abyssal Hand, drawn up to five. Can we draw to both Greninja Breaks or not? Let's see what happens. And nope, we, uh, we whiffed it. We whiffed it hard. All right, so let's see. We can do Fin Moonlight Slash for a hundred, putting the Water Energy in our hand, and then next turn we can Ninja Break, and then we get Shadow Stitching to knock it out. So yeah, let's just retreat into this guy. Put a Water Energy. I can't believe we missed the breaks. I and we'll just Moonlight Slash for a hundred. But next turn we can knock it out. That's great. Uh, so yeah, going to do a hundred damage. All right, so under our opponent's turn, let's see. What happens? We need to get another full line of Froki out, but le luckily we do have the Sacred Ash in our hand to get back all these uh, water, all these water Pokemon. We see a Mega Rayquaza come down. A DC. He can't retreat and tackle this guy, but he's not going to, which is kind of questionable. But maybe he doesn't fear his Rayquaza being knocked out this turn. We'll send up the Greninja and let's see what happens onto our turn. We get a Shaman. All right. So I, still, I don't want to put down the Shaman. That, that's probably our worst thing to do right now. So we're going to Sacred Ash, shuffling in this, these, all these guys, get a full line of the frogs back, okay. Let's Ultra Ball, discard a Water and a Shaman. We will grab a Greninja. Uh, this Greninja, there we go. Alright, so grab that guy, put him down. We will Water Shuriken the Active. Yep, so Water Shuriken active. Moonlight Slash should do 80 damage, and then it can knock it out. I think it knocks it out, right? Oh, 90! No, we need... Oh, no, we need a uh, we need a Muscle Man. I did math wrong. That's my fault. So, uh, we'll draw up to 5. There's a Dive Ball, so we can't get a break this turn. That's good. Uh, so, grab the break. Okay. Put the break down. The question is... I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to Giant Water Shuriken, the Water Energy onto this Rayquaza, and now we can start pounding up for next turn, and we will VS Seeker for a Birch. Let's Abyssal Hand for two. Let's see if we can get off the two. We're looking for a Muscle Band. I'm not even sure if it's in the deck. There's a letter. We'll just VS Seeker for a Birch. Come on now, Mr. Birch. Now next turn, this um, the Rayquaza can't knock us out unless he puts down another Pokemon, and if he does, we're going to be in trouble. Um, Okay, so heads. We get a Froakie, we get a Froakie, we get a, a Dive Ball to get out another Greninja Break. I think we already evolved this turn though. Let's see, I think we did maybe. Okay, yep, yeah, we already evolved. We'll Trainers Mode, we're looking for a Muscle Band. There it is, all right, there's the Muscle Band. Okay, good, good, good. So put the Muscle Band in our hand. We will Trainers Mode again. Uh, grabbing nothing. Let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Our opponent can't even knock us out next turn unless he gets down two Pokemon. So we will Moonlight Slash for 100. Yeah, so we'll Moonlight Slash for 100. Yes. All right, so we'll do 100 damage to it. All righty. Do it 100. We'll go down to four prize cards. 
can we make a comeback or not, just like the last game? So there's a Sycamore and another Froakie. And he's going to save this Rayquaza. Can he get a Skyfield and two Pokemon? And if he can't, well, he's going to be in trouble. Like, he's going to be in really big trouble. There's an Ultra Ball probably grabbing a Shaman. Yep, there's a Shaman. And with the Shaman, he's a Skyfield and another Pokemon. And he will only get out of two, though. So he will have to deal with all these Froakies. Can we knock him out this next turn with this guy? Let's see, we do... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We only do 140, which is not a knockout. There we see an Altaria, Altaria coming out. Not really worried about that. We're worried about a Skyfield and another Pokemon. And no, he does not have it. It only does 150. All right, on to our turn. So we can put down Greninja Break. We can, let's see. And there we see a Victor screen. Oh, man. Okay, so what I was going to do is I was going to Giant Water Shirk in the Shaman, Retreat, Giant Water Shirk in the Shaman, Fisherman putting all those water energies back into my hand, and then hit it for 50, bring it up to 110. And then next turn, we could have Lysander brought it back up and knocked it out with the water energy. So we were going to win the game with Greninja Break. Our opponent conceded the game. No. <laughs> I was going to double... Okay, I was going to Giant Water Shirk in the Shaman, retreat to the other one, Giant Water Shirk in the Shaman, do it 120, take it two prize cards, and do it 30 to the Rayquaza. And then that way we could have knocked out next turn with matter what. Oh man, that would have been so cool. But sadly, we didn't see it. But you can see how strong this deck is. My opponent didn't really play anything though. Let's see, how many training cards he played? Five, we played 21. How many cards did he draw? It didn't seem like he drew that many cards for sure. Um,. Oh, no, we drew, no, he drew 40, he drew 46, we drew 49, we drew about the same amount, it was just that he didn't have that best of luck, but we still, he drew more than me, actually, no, we drew about, I drew three more than him, but still, there it is, Greninja Break, we beat a Mega Mewtwo Y, which people say it's one of our hard matchups, just because it's a Mega, and we beat Mega Rayquaza, so you can beat both of those, we were going to punish our, punish our opponent for putting down both putting that Greninja down. Wow, we would have won that game for sure. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Main Deck Monday. We did say Greninja break in action. And you can see how strong of a deck this card, or how strong this card is. But hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty, bye.